Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Hello viewers, we have been sharing a lot of videos released by Indian Air Force for Republic Day fly past. In the video, we could see that number 15 squadron of Indian Air Force flying lances and in their patch, the most interesting thing to notice is the Astra Pioneers, which means that this squadron is first to be equipped with Astra missile. Another important point to note is that Flying Lances Squadron is located in Punjab, which is very close to Pakistan border. The Beast Life 230 MKI equipped with Astra is going to be a very sad news for Pakistan Air Force. In air skirmish, like the one that followed post Balakot strike, Su-30 MKIs will be greeting Pakistani fighter jets with Astra missile from a range of 110 kilometers. Back in July 2020, the Defense Ministry approved the acquisition of 248 Astra Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air missiles. These missiles are to be integrated with Su-30 MKIs of Air Force and MiG-29K of Navy and has been extensively tested with both these fighters. Astra has completed its final developmental trial in September 2017 and was cleared for production at BDL's manufacturing facility in Telangana for an initial order of 50 missiles. Indian Air Force has already received 50 pre-production Astra missiles back in 2019, followed by an order of 200 more missiles. Once the order of 200 missiles is complete, the much bigger order of Astra, maybe more than 400 missiles, can be expected for MiG-29 UPG and LCA Tejas of Air Force. The flight trials of Astra missiles on HAL Limited Seas Production Tejas will be carried out in 2022. We could also see the Astra integrated with LCA Tejas in the recent video released by DRDO, which means that the integration work is progressing pretty well and we can soon expect the test firing. The Astra is designed to engage and destroy highly maneuvering supersonic aircraft. The missile has all-weather day and night capability. The missile is being developed in multiple variants to meet specific requirements. It can be launched in autonomous and buddy mode of operation with features for lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch. Talking about the specifications of Astra missile, Astra is 3.84 meter long with a diameter of 178 mm and weighs 154 kgs. It's lighter when compared with Russian R-77 missiles, allows easier integration and better aerodynamic performance. It carries a 15 kg of high explosive pre-fragmented warhead which is activated by a proximity fuse. Astra uses a smokeless solid fueled motor that can propel the missile to a speed of Mach 4.5 and allows operation from a maximum altitude of 20 km. The maximum range of Astra is 110 km in head-on chase mode and 20 km in tail chase mode. The maximum range is achieved when the missile is launched from an altitude of 3 km. When fired from an altitude of 2 km, the range of missile drops to just 44 km. And when launched from sea level, the range further drops to just 21 km. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.